What's up, Cupeteers? It's Christina Jane back at it with another video. So for today's video, I've decided that I wanted to give you guys a holiday look for Christmas or whatever you celebrate. And it's going to be kind of like a gold eye with a bold red lip. This is kind of like your traditional makeup look for holiday season. So if you want to learn how to do that with me, then please keep watching the video. <laughs> To start off today's look, I'm going to go in with my Olay Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen. I put this all over my face to protect it from the harmful sun rays and also moisturizes, moisturizes my face. So it's a really good first step to prepare my face for all the makeup that I'm going to put on. Then I go in with my Benefit Pore Professional Pore Primer in order to smooth out all my pores so that the foundation can lay nicely on top. For my foundation today, I'm going to use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Before you use it, make sure you shake it well, and it's supposed to have medium to full coverage. I've been wearing this foundation for a couple days now, and I like it. It's not as full coverage as I like, but it is buildable, so you can use it if you want medium to full. I think for me, it's light to full, but it's fine. Next up, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is the mini version because your girl is broke and I don't have money to buy the full version. But so far, my thoughts are in, on it. It's, it's pretty good, but honestly, for the price, you can use something like the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and it pretty much does the same job. So I don't know, but I'm going to continue trying it and seeing what my thoughts are until the end. I just put it down on my usual spots and then blend it all out with my Real Technique sponge later. For my powder today, I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I like to put some underneath my eyes and also above the jawline just to make it give it more of a chiseled out look. Now I'm going to leave it on and do my brows off camera. Brows are on and that means it is time to go ahead and prime the lids. For my lid primer, I'm using the P. Louise base and I just pour some of it onto my lid and I also use it as a concealer to clean out my brows. I found that this technique works really well. I'm not sure if this is the real technique on how you apply this product, but I, always, I find that it works out really well. So whatever and then I also go in with my real technique sponge to blend it all out to make sure that the eyeshadows lay nicely on top of it To finish off the base, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Bite Beauty Lip Primer. This just gives a nice base for my lips later on. I accidentally did my other eye off camera because I wasn't paying attention to whether or not I was recording. So I'm just going to redo it for you guys. For my transition shade, I just went into the Christmas Star by Too Faced palette in the shade Wishlist. This is like a nice warm brown tone for me to use as a transition shade because I did not like the cashmere shade that I was using in my other video. If you want to see that video, then I will link it down below for you guys. Anyways, for my next one, I take a smaller brush and I dip into the shade Cinnamon just to deepen up the crease. Now I'm going to cut my crease with the P. Louise base. I find that this serves a dual purpose. It also cuts my crease and brightens up the color that I put on top. So I just carefully did that right in the center and it's kind of like a half cut crease look. Now I'm dipping into Prance Around. It's this warm golden shade and I use patting motions to pat it right on top of my P. Louise base. As you can see, it's giving a lot more um, 
of the color out because I had a nice base underneath. You don't have to do this step, but I went ahead and grabbed my ColourPop She's a Rainbow palette and put the little yellow glitter all over my lid to just give it a more extra pop. Now it's time to take off all my powder, so I just go in with a big fluffy brush, take it all off so I can go ahead and do the bottom lash line. For my bottom lash line, I'm just going to go ahead and mix the shades Wishless and Cinnamon together and drag it on both the left and right eyes. This is going to really help complement the top lid and make sure that the whole face is well rounded. Now I'm going to do my lashes off camera. Lashes are on, so it's time for me to finish off the rest of my eyes. I'm going to dip into the North Pole shade and put it as an inner corner highlight as well as on my brow bones. This is a really nice and pretty white shade and I really, really like it. And for the cheeks, I'm going to go ahead and use the Chestnut Roasting from the same palette and just put it on my cheeks and on my jawline and also forehead and the bridge of my nose. For my blush, I'm going to use that nice list shade from the same palette, and I think that it's a really pretty pink. Then I'm going to go in into Lit Up with a small eyeshadow brush and just put it on the tops of my cheeks and also on top of my nose just to give it a little more shimmer. I just popped on the red shade by Wet n Wild and I sprayed it all down with my Max Fix Plus. And that, guys, is the finished look for today. If you enjoyed what you saw for this holiday festive look, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below future video ideas if you want to see more holiday looks or if you want to see more fun and interesting videos like challenges and collabs and stuff like that, then please comment down below what you want. And also, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with my makeup adventure. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!